Now we'll get back to the phones in just a moment, but first we have some special guests here from the Seneca Park Zoo. Kenny right. and Kenny Brock. Colossus. Colossus. Wow. All right. Yep. Now tell us, obviously, Colossus is a snake. What kind of snake is Colossus? Colossus is a South American boa constrictor. Uh, okay. They come from all throughout Central and South America, and they live in the rainforest type environments. Uh, it's probably the most common habitat you're going to find them in. You'll also find them in a variety of other hab habitats, too. Uh, they kind of like what we call uh, transitional habitats, so where maybe a rainforest meets kind of a dry shrubland type okay. area. Yeah, looking at the uh the camouflage that mm -hmm. looks like suited for that. She has great camouflage, and actually, mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I should say, he, mm -hmm. one of the things he does is he'll sit and wait either, you know, at the base of a tree or maybe sometimes in a tree, and he kind of looks like a branch or maybe a root, and he waits for something to come by, and then he can strike at it and grab it. All right. So let's talk about the constrictors, and there's a lot in the name right there, how, how they do feed. Yep, yep. Uh, they do constrict their prey. Um, most snakes in the world are a constrictor type animal. Uh, a lot of people get afraid of snakes. They're like, oh, you know, right. they're venomous, they're gonna hurt me. Well, you know, snake, if you leave it alone, it's gonna leave you alone. Uh, the majority of snakes in the world are not venomous, they're constrictors, and as what they do, they are going to uh, grab their prey and then constrict it up so it stops breathing, and then they can swallow it whole, because that's how they eat, they swallow mm -hmm. their food whole. They don't have any teeth to chew. The two teeth they do have are actually kind of like fish hooks, so when they mm -hmm. grab a prey, they kind of sink in, in and see. sinks right in there, keeps and, them there. Yeah, that's why you do that. Let's talk about their jaw. They can, their jaw they can use as uh, yep, to it's, help pull it in a little time. They're, yep, their yeah. jaw actually is a little bit more flexible than ours. Mm -hmm. They actually have extra tendons in their jaw that mm -hmm. allow them to stretch a little bit more so that they can fit around things. She can mm -hmm. actually eat something as wide as the widest part of her body right mm -hmm. there. Like which, what? Uh, well, you know, she could eat Man, something as large as a rat. Right, I'm uh, at the zoo, we feed her rats. Okay. And that's her, that's yeah. what she gets but at the zoo. if she had her pick, what would uh, he? What would In he the wild, for? they'll eat anything that's moving and uh, mm -hmm. smaller than them. So mm, they're yes. not too picky. Uh, birds, bird eggs, lizards, lizards' eggs. Uh, they've been known to eat uh, frogs and turtles. Any type of small mammal that'd be out there, they'll eat as well, too. Okay. Yeah. Right. You know, it's kind of cool. I can see it here, and I don't know if people can see the difference in the scales underneath. You know, these scales, you know, people think of, of snakes as being slimy, but they're very dry but smooth. They are. All right. They are dry but, and uh, smooth. But if he moves right, you can see the scales underneath it. There we go, that they actually use to move. And see how these are plates that are kind of face bit, backwards. Yeah. You could talk a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, they're actually a little bit wider and uh, they face backwards mm -hmm. and they help attraction a little bit more mm -hmm. than the ones on top. And the scales are actually very cool. They're there for protection and they also help them keep water inside their body so that they wow. don't dry out. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a big important thing for them. They don't want to dry out. Mm -hmm. How, how big will Colossus get? Well, Colossus here is, I don't know, she's about five and a half feet long right now. Fully grown, she could be anywhere from eight to 12 feet long, depending on the diet, how much she's eating, mm -hmm. and the environment she's in. Uh, I keep saying she because we had an old boa <laughs> constrictor that was a girl, but Colossus is a boy. Okay. Uh, so yeah, anywhere from, you know, maybe eight to 12 feet long when they're fully grown, and they can live about 25 to 30 years. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah. yeah. So yeah, they can live a long time. You know, when people talk about getting snakes as pets. They do. In some ways, they're good pets because you don't need to feed them every day, and, and right. Far, but they do, uh, they do live a long time, and they do need some. Losses like your mic. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. get constricted here. All yeah. right. And they do need some attention. They do, and. and uh, you know, when I always say this, if you want to get a snake as a pet, it's not for everyone, but to do your research, because they do live a long time, and mm -hmm. sometimes you have to feed them things that you're not willing to feed them after you buy them. So. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Yeah, very All right. cool. Well, thanks, Kenny. Well, very cool. Thanks for, thanks for bringing Colossus on. No thanks for being over there, Colossus. All right. <laughs> See you again soon. All right. All right. Thanks again.